What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and this is the Razer phone. Yes, Razer, the gaming laptop maker, is now moving into the smartphone space, and I was fortunate enough to get an early hands-on and unboxing experience. Now getting straight to the unboxing, first up, we do have this note from the CEO of Razer. I'll let you go ahead and pause this if you wanna have a read. And then we have the phone itself, which we'll put to the side for just a short while while we look at what else we get inside. And within the box, everything is presented nicely in individual boxes. The first one has a Razer branded SIM card ejector tool, some Razer stickers, as well as some paperwork. Then we have the power brake and this is the world's first phone featuring Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 Plus. Now that's going to give you some very fast and efficient charging. We also have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C braided cable. Now you guys know that I really like braided cables. They're so much more durable and don't tangle like regular cables do. And the inside of this USB Type-C cable is the Razer branded green. Finally we have a USB Type-C to 3.5mm headphone converter and yes that is because there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Razer phone something I know a lot of you will be disappointed about but you do have THX certified DAC support so you will be getting some good quality audio out of this now let's move on to the phone firstly you can see that it does resemble the next bit Robin quite a bit and that is because Razer recently acquired next bit so the style and design has carried over from there it's quite blocky with squared edges and we have a metal unibody which does feel quite premium and it weighs almost 200 grams now let's look at one of the key features of this device and that is the 5.72 inch display. This is LCD with a Quad HD plus resolution and it's the world's first 120 hertz ultra motion mobile display. Now obviously this is going to give you a very smooth experience when gaming, although it's not as bezel free as many of the other newer devices this year. One of the main reasons for that is that we have stereo front facing speakers with dual amplifiers. Now these things can get really loud, they're probably the loudest speakers that I've tested on a smartphone and this would really enhance the gaming and media viewing experience. But to produce the maximum audio quality and output, there is no water on dust resistance. Up top on the front side is an 8 megapixel front facing camera with an f2.0 aperture. On the left hand side we have some volume buttons and these are bang in the middle and this is to make them more accessible when in landscape mode which is what this device is mostly intended to be used in, especially when you're gaming and consuming media. On the right hand side there is a power button in the middle, now this doubles up as a fingerprint scanner. The positioning of this will come down to your personal preference, I generally prefer a fingerprint scanner either on the front or the back. And then we have a tray at the top which has space for a SIM card as well as a micro SD card. So you can expand the storage on here and you do get 64 gigabytes as a base which is great. We've got nothing at the top other than the hole for the mic. At the bottom we have a, another mic as well as the USB Type-C input. Now moving on to the back, firstly there is the Razer logo right in the middle. And then we've got the dual 12 megapixel camera setup. We've got dual phase detection autofocus with a dual tone, dual LED flash. And the primary camera is wide angle with an f1.75 aperture and the secondary camera is a zoom camera with an f2.6 aperture. Now the software on the camera is very very basic so there isn't a jump to two times like we're used to seeing on the Note as well as the iPhone. And to zoom in you just need to basically pinch. Now personally I would have preferred to have the option to jump to zoom optically and that way you don't have any risk of digitally zooming on any of your pictures and hopefully this will come with a software update. Now looking at the internals we do have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor with a whopping 8GB of RAM. This once again is to go towards that gaming experience on this device and we also have a huge 4000mAh battery. So it should last you pretty well for those long gaming sessions on your smartphone. For the software we do have Android version 7.1.1 so we don't have the latest version Oreo as yet but the Razer phone does come pre-installed with the Nova Launcher Prime. Now pre-orders go live as soon as this video does with a price of $699 or £699 with availability from November the 17th in North America and Europe. So a pretty premium price tag for what is a pretty premium phone. What do you guys think of the Razer phone? It's clearly a device targeted at gamers and if you are somebody who's 
quite into gaming, especially on your smartphone, then I'm sure this device will be pretty appealing to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if there's anything specific that you'd like me to cover with the Razer phone, then also drop that in the comments below. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. There's loads more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.